What is up guys, they were back with 335 over here. We recently redid these headlights. As you can see we got the uh, Bab Group um, rings and also new lenses. I want to protect these new lenses with some uh, protection film I got from ECS Tuning. It's Laminex headlight covers, but they're, it's kind of a film you got to put on top. Protective against uh, rock chips and stuff like that, so I'm going to do that. Um, show you guys how to do it. I recommend doing this on new lenses. Um, you know, it goes a long way. Protects your investment and keep them looking good for a long time. And then worst case, you know, in a few years, when they get kind of beaten up, you just replace them. This way your lenses are not compromised, it's just the film. So, we're going to get started. Looking at the instructions over here, it says do not stretch or pull in the film. Uh, no chemicals, don't apply heat too long. Kind of the basic stuff for film if you guys know how to use that kind of stuff. Um, you need know, a microfiber cloth, looks like, some lint-free towel. They give you a sprayer. Um, I'm not sure what's in it. Maybe some sort of combination of water and some type of agent. But I'm not quite sure what it is. They also give you the squeegee. Um, and they give you a decal, which is kind of cool. I'll put that on my jack over there. But uh, 11X. Um, what else to say? They give you a trim tool, a little knife. So kind of a nice little touch. They give it to you. Um, and then the instructions are over here. But I'm actually going to follow these, um, but do get, do for you guys, it's kind of more clear on how to do it. Um, it should be the same for all headlights, um, unless you've got some really tricky headlight designs, in which case you probably should have a professional do it, but I'm not about that, so I'm going to try to do that now. Just an update guys, so I've done one side, did the passenger side already, just kind of test it out, make sure I kind of knew what I was doing. It's pretty simple, um, a little bit harder than it looks though, i got to say. Um, the film is not perfectly sized to the light itself, as you know, the light is kind of a three-dimensional shape, not a flat surface, right? So it's not just a simple uh, peel off and put on, so you kind of got to heat it up in some areas and kind of make sure it fits uh, where you want it to. Um, my edges are not exactly perfect, but you know, it's better than nothing. Um, I think, you know, for the amount of work I put into the, installing these new lenses and uh, LED rings, I think just having some sort of protection on the film, on the light, I mean, is just pretty uh, useful. Um, I was looking at the uh, kind of specifications of this uh, film, and it's supposed to be self-healing, which is great, you know, any rock chips it should sort of heal itself in, in the sun for a little bit, and I park, you know, at school every day, it sits kind of based in the sun, so um, that should pretty much solve any problems, much like the wrap I have on the car, um, any small little scratches do self-heal, which is fantastic. Um, so my edge here is not, you know, perfect. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. There's a little bit of a lip there, but you can, you can really barely tell. Um, but the main part of the uh, light is all covered up. So, you know, I figure in the next 100,000 miles, I should be completely fine. And, you know, maybe in that case, if these ever go out, I'll just replace the lenses again. But uh, that's a long time from now. So, this is about keeping the car looking as good as possible for as long as possible. Um, I did wear some latex gloves um, while I did this just to not get any fingerprints on um, the film itself. So there is a bit of a cloudiness, you can't really tell. A um, bit of a cloudiness to the uh, film right now. Um, it's because of the water trapped inside, but that should appear after a few weeks according to uh, Lemon X. And uh, also they said if you get any air bubbles, like I have a few, you can probably see those a little bit over here. Um, you know, if those don't go away by themselves, um, I can kind of pop them with a, uh, with a pin and then they should disappear, essentially, um, with that self-healing material. So it's, it's pretty forgiving in that sense. Um, I can get back to you guys in you know, the next couple videos, I can kind of catch up on this and see how it's holding up, but uh, hard to say first day. Um, but uh, I mean, it feels great, so it's a very thick uh, material, so I can see being very protective. Um, it did also come with fog light um, protection film, but obviously I don't have any fog lights anymore. Um, I actually sold those as well. so. That is useless to me, but if any of you guys have fog lights on your E92 or 93, um, I'm not sure if it's the same fog lights as the 90 91, but if you do, uh, if, you, if you want that film, let me know. I can send it out to you. Um, as long as you cover, cover shipping, I can send it out for no problem. Um, but uh, this stuff wasn't exactly cheap. I'll put it in the bio, I mean the description, sorry. And um, I got it from ECS. I think it was out of stock, so I, bought, I think I bought it in like December. And it only came um, this week. Um, this is January, it's actually February 1st right now, um, but uh, it came this week. Um, but uh, yeah, pretty good stuff, I think. I did take this off, this little guard off. I popped the hood, give me a little bit more leverage. Um, there are two tabs on the edges, um, which I can actually just show you on the, the driver side one I have not done yet. It's all rolled up, as you can see. Each side is a little tab. It's good to kind of grab it by the tab um, when you take it off. 
kind of position it with this tab. Um, and you can cut it off at the end, so I've actually already cut it off. And um, yeah, I mean, if I didn't tell you guys it was there, you guys wouldn't notice, and it should get less noticeable as time goes on. So I'm gonna get started with the next one, and I'll show you guys how to do that step by step. All right, so first things first, we're gonna clean off the uh, headlights with just some water. They say don't use any alcohol or anything like that, so use some water and take these guards out. Take them right there. Get a microfiber cloth. Obviously get a clean one. This one is not clean, but you know what? It's fine. Let's get all that stuff off. And then we'll even do it one more time. Just to make sure, you know, nothing's on there. It can uh, be seen underneath the uh, vinyl. Alright, now we're going to do a light misting. They made it very clear not to oversaturate the surface where it's dripping, so just kind of a uh, mist on there. Like so, that should be good. Alright, I'm going to get a film over here. figure out which one goes where. All right, so the sharp corner seems to be over here, so I'm going to think it would go something like that. That's about right to me, so we're going to peel it off now. Um, be pretty careful not to get anything on the bottom, on the adhesive side of the uh, film. I'm going to start one of the tabs over here. Just kind of got to pick away at it as you would, like so. Oh, looks like the... there we go. Do it pretty slowly, you know definitely don't want to get this uh, folded in on itself so be careful of that as we get close I'm gonna move my hand close to the end of the other tab over here and there we go so now we got the film like so we want to align at least one uh, corner um, with the actual lens I'm gonna go ahead and use this corner over here and then we want to make sure we can kind of get this one roughly in the correct position so like I said on the other headlight, um, it was not perfect, um, but it was close enough for me. So that is completely off. You know what, my headlight lens is actually a little bit hidden behind the bumper. It's not an OEM bumper, it's, an, uh, it's a third-party bumper, so it's not quite the perfect fitment. So uh, a little bit is covered by the bumper itself, so I'm going to go ahead and use this corner to align it first. That's completely exposed, um, so let's see. And that actually worked out pretty well. Um, it's pretty good in this corner over here. You know, it kind of hugs this edge along the bottom, which is what exactly what you want. Um, this top will have to move around a little bit. We're gonna use a few some heat. I have a heat gun over here. If you do not have a heat gun, a uh, hair dryer should work just fine. I'm gonna put it on the second highest setting and put the fan speed higher. Uh, I bought the one on Amazon. Pretty good stuff. Um, but we're not gonna use that yet. It's gonna make a lot of noise. So kind of got it, you know, roughly uh, positioned. Um, I'm going to put some water on the top of the uh, film just for some lubrication. Get my squeegee, which is over here. Alrighty, I'm going to go from the middle. I'm going to start over here, okay? I'm going to use the squeegee over here in the middle and then kind of push outwards. There we go. As you can see, it's looking pretty good in that area. So we're going to keep doing that around uh, pretty much the entire lens. At least this part first. This part's gonna be where it gets a little bit more tricky, um, in the sense that you know stuff will kind of try and get wrinkled, which you do not want to happen. Um, so, yeah, let's get started. Alrighty, so I've gotten to the point now where I've gotten pretty much this entire half on the uh, lens pretty well. You know, aside from the little. Uh, you know, tab over here, which we'll cut off later. Um, the rest of it just has to be kind of put in place. So we do some areas where it's kind of like wrinkle a little bit. So what we have to do is we'll get our heat gun started. And uh, we're essentially going to pull this up um, uh, with the tab, of course, and uh, kind of soften the material a little bit and get it nice and pliable. And then we're going to put it back on, just kind of slowly squeegeeing it 
as we go. You know, it might not be a bad idea to add some more water on the lens itself. Um, and uh, yeah, it's pretty straightforward, you know. So. Comes. Alright guys, that's pretty much it. Um, so we've gotten the lens pretty much completely covered by this film. A little bit of a bubble over here. I'm not too worried about it. It'll either go away by itself over time, it's next week or so, um, or it'll just uh, we'll have to pop it and then it'll, it'll come out and then it'll heal itself. So really not a huge deal. Um, I have a little bit of excess material on the right side, um, just a little bit on the edge. I'm going to go ahead and cut along that and make sure it's not hanging off too much. Um, and then same for over here, just a little tab as to go. And that's it. So I'm going to be back with you guys once that is done.